Bog Panda. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Bog Panda. I'm Kelly at K E L L Y T H U L on Twitter and Instagram. I am Dr. Mike at Official Pagan on Everything. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, leave two comments, and make sure you head out to the merch store so you can pick up some, some t-shirts and be ready for summer. That's right. Time's a wasting. Get to it. So we're back uh, talking one of our favorite topics, the still yet for Kelly to receive uh, Amiga 500 Mini. Uh, my delivery date still sits pegged out there at uh, May 31st, so we shall see. But other people are getting it, important people are getting it, <laughs> and, and getting a chance to do all sorts of things with it. And so we're going back to one of our favorite channels, Retro Recipes, to uh, see his latest project and kind of amazing work that he does uh, in the highly entertaining fashion that Retro Recipes does in terms of putting his videos together, and that is taking... Uh, an Amiga 500 Mini, converting it into a full shell of an Amiga 12, 1200, uh, and having it also be able to run Workbench. So, uh, what did you think of the video, sir? Very impressive. I mean, his stuff is very impressive. Yeah. It's for the most part way beyond anything that I could do. Yeah, and, and that's and that's my only one. Well, he's fascinating to watch, and it's really cool to see him do what he does. Uh, I kind of like the how-to videos when I've got like a shot <laughs> at doing <laughs> doing what they're doing. Uh, but you know, when he's like, uh, you know, well, first of all, there's a couple things like, oh yeah, I've got this keyboard I'm going to install that is a special order prototype that's not really available anywhere right now. But my buddy gave me a copy of it. You know, it's like, okay, well, I don't have a buddy. Mike's my buddy. He's not going to be sending me a keyboard. <laughs> I don't have access to this keyboard. <laughs> this keyboard's not coming from Mike. <laughs> yeah. So, so there's certain co key components of his build that are like, well, you know, if you're like super connected like me and have really smart technical friends, here's all the things you can do. But even if I had those super smart technical friends and I received the stuff, I still wouldn't be able to do what he does uh, because, you know, he's sitting there though the cabling from the keyboard that went into the, the kind of control board as he began to assemble this together uh, came loose. And so he had to solder it. So and he brings out this array of equipment, including what appears to be an electron microscope <laughs> to kind of <laughs> view the, oh, I need to make sure all that there weren't any shorts in the soldering and stuff. And I'm like, Dude, when I I'm lucky, you know, get, did I get the Ethernet cable plugged in correctly? Is that <laughs> is that in snug? Good, you know, that's that's about it. So uh, there's a lot of things that are above my depth uh, in terms of of what to do, but it is always fascinating to to the playful way he kind of puts things together, and he's got a good design aesthetic. So as he started to say, okay, here's what I'm going to do, and there are a few things like you if you are going to repaint. Uh, a chassis for one of your systems. He gives you some pretty good tips on how to do that and maintain the decals and do all that kind of good stuff. So there are a few things that are reusable, but uh, a lot of it wasn't, but the end product was pretty amazing. Yeah. I was really impressed with it. I'm in the same place that you are, even if I had the connections to get the, these components that are not widely available to people, there's nothing I can do about that. <laughs> if I had that stuff sitting here, it took me like a minute and a half to get my microphone plugged in today. So there's, there's no way I'm soldering things. <laughs> and that's just ridiculous nonsense that I'm not going to be any part of. Um, but it was really, <clears throat> sorry. It was really interesting. I'm still sick. Kelly got me sick uh, over zoom. Uh, so it is really interesting to see the stuff that he does. Um, I did take, you know, some stuff from him when we did uh, setting up the disc drive for the, C64, which is really cool. Um, we kind of put our own spin on it and then ran it through the, this is just shameless promotion. Go back and watch that video. <laughs> we ran it through the X Games Legends Mini. So we were playing a game from a floppy disk for a Commodore 64 through an arcade cabinet. So a little bit different than what he did, but again, built off of his idea of doing that, which is really awesome. This is not something I can take and adapt into anything else because there's no way that I could build this. No, no. And it was cool because he also did some, I don't know, unless I call them outtakes, but, uh, you know, as most of these videos, everything goes smoothly and everything goes together, but it's not often the case during the actual build. And he, you know, copped to that and kind of showed a couple different scenarios he went through. And the first one, which I thought 
is kind of how I would have tried to tackle it too, is wouldn't it be cool if you opened up the Amiga 1200 and sitting inside was this little baby Amiga 500 <laughs> powering it? Uh, but that would have been maintaining the existing case and stuff from the uh, Amiga 500 Mini, and ultimately it became a space issue uh, to uh, to not really be able to pull that off. But uh, I guess I did pick up, based on what he said, and it was one of the things I was interested in understanding, is it does appear that a USB splitter will work on the Amiga 500. So you're going to be able to, it's already got a couple USB ports, but that's joystick and mouse. Um, so, uh, but if you wanted to start to expand that, it looks like that's going to be an option and it'll be able to handle it. Now, what it can handle is still the question is like, what type of controllers? Cause it's back to what it always comes back to is, can I plug this thing in my fight stick <laughs> and, <laughs> and play some of those things that way? Uh, so we'll have to see kind of how, how well it recognizes the, the fight stick when that time comes, but, uh, that is going to be interesting. I'm also personally, I'm excited to get my hands on the Amiga gamepad though. Because when you started kind of introducing me to Amiga stuff, uh, seeing the CD32 gamepad and reading how people loved this gamepad, it's got me excited for this new version of that gamepad. Yeah, yeah. Which was another place where uh, his, you know, and uh, we certainly don't begrudge him his connections at all. <laughs> don't, don't. This isn't sour grapes, but you know, it's unlikely if Mike and I talked about a project that the next thing that happens is, oh, hey, you're going to do something and it's going to be black. We're going to send you a gamepad in black so it'll just work great <laughs> with your system. And it's just like, I mean, that's not going to be happening with us. It didn't happen with your CD to <laughs> C64. Now, you know, where was that games coming in saying, hey, here's a... Let's here's send a you another arcade cabinet. <laughs> yeah, so you can do this. Or, but yeah, so it didn't happen. For, not that we're bitter, but no, you know, no, no, no. still. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, it is going to be kind of cool to kind of see that controller and also to see how all that controller potentially, I think probably you're getting at this port over and you could use it for some other stuff as well. So yeah, that's, that's one of the things that I'm interested in, especially using it on, you know, if I wanted to use that on Super Console X for Amiga games or use that on Amiga Forever on my laptop, things like that. So I can have more of an immersive Amiga experience with the proper CD32 controller there. Yep, definitely. Sounds good. Yeah, so uh, one of these days, even though it'll be, you know, old news in terms of unboxing, <laughs> when, I, <laughs> when I can finally unbox mine. The other thing is when I, last last piece of bitterness, <laughs> when I unbox mine, there's not going to be a USB drive laying in there saying, hey, here's a bunch more games that you might want to try <laughs> just because, but that's okay. But I am still very excited to look forward to it. Very excited to see what happens with uh, the uh, kind of fight stick combination. And then also playing around a little bit to say, okay, the the Legends Ultimate, Mike's Legends Mini, uh, has has gives you some pretty good options to kind of port in or connect in other systems as well. So the nice part on the uh, the Amiga 500 Mini is it's of a size uh, that uh, I could, if it does kind of play well with that environment, it's going to be a really easy thing for me to 3D print a little shelf or something and have it right there which might actually be another pretty cool way to play it so we'll have to we'll have to see where its home eventually is it just in another one of my array of playstation 2 playstation 3 <laughs> nintendo 64 at games core uh, uh super, super console x and now a mini all kind of spider webbed into the projector or is it going to have a home with the fight stick which will still go through the projector, but uh, the fight stick or the legends, but we'll have to see, but this is a cool video. Uh, it, I learned a little, I learned I, there's a lot of things I'm never going to be capable of doing. <laughs> Proud of him. He does a great job. He's always fun to watch. Uh, and it was just more Amiga content that we like. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. Um, another thing too, to just kind of tack onto that retro games limited did say there are going to be three more releases coming. So that'll be cool. <laughs> yeah, they they didn't say what they are. I have to assume one of them has to be an Amiga Maxi, though. That would be, boy, that's going to complicate things a little bit. No, I guess not. <laughs> I still, I'm looking forward to the mini. We'll just, we'll start there. Uh, because I'll just get put on another list and have to wait <laughs> a long time. So, so I'll pace myself, I think. So we'll see. So we'll keep an eye on. You'll certainly hear us talking about those other releases as soon as we know more about them. So thanks for watching folks. And as Mike mentioned at the beginning, please consider giving us a subscription, some likes, 
take a look at those t-shirts and more most importantly thanks for watching everyone thanks everybody Thank you.